Rug, pillow, hair, grass. Incorrect. 165 volts, strong shock. Let me out of here. I will not be part of the experiment anymore. He, he says he's not going to go on. Please continue. He, he says he doesn't want to go on. We must continue. In nearly every case, the essential results are the same. They hesitate, sigh, tremble, and groan, but they advance to the last switch, 450 volts, because they're politely told to. Hey everybody, welcome to What the Flick. I'm Matt Atchity. Uh, this is Christy Lemire. This is Alonzo Duraldi. They have watched The Experimenter. I have not. Uh, Christy, will you describe it It's Experimenter. Us? It's not The Experimenter. Oh, sorry. Not like <laughs> <My transporter>. <laughs> <laughs> He's just Experimenter. So this is based on some stuff that actually happened several decades ago. Peter Sarsgaard stars as a Yale professor, Stanley Milgram, who in the early 60s did some experiments with Two people separated by a wall. One was a teacher, one was a student. The student had to memorize all these word combinations. Every time he or she got him wrong, the teacher zapped him with increasing voltage. And it's all about man's inhumanity to man and how far will we go when we are just given an assignment. We're just doing what we were told to do. Take a look. I'm Stanley Milgram, and this is an experiment. The man in the other room wasn't being shocked. Let me out of here! Can you please go check that everything's okay? Continue, please. We wanted to get true reactions from people. Oh. The experiment's about obeying orders. You could be dead in there. Please continue. Oh. Social relations. What does that mean? Everything from the way people talk in elevators to the study of formity, authority. Oh. How does human beings participate in destructive, inhumane acts? Why is defiance the anomaly instead of the norm? Why didn't I stop? Because he told me to continue. Let me out! You tell yourself. Why don't I have a choice? I wouldn't do that. Have you done it? I'd never do that. That really hurts! I don't like hurting anyone. Let me out! <laughs> this part's where the experiment really begins. Your father's turning into a fictional character. Critics insist that you're callous, unethical, deceitful, no one repugnant was forced. You're invested in the idea of authority and you love lording it over all of us. The person has a choice. Son of a bitch! He or she chooses obedience, awareness, liberation, life. This would be a really cool double feature with both Compliance mm -hmm. and Stanford, Stanford Prison, Prison Experiment. Stanford Prison Experiment. I was totally thinking that too. Yes. Um, How we hurt each other. <laughs> right. Exactly. Right. The the triple feature. People suck. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. Th this. You know. Uh, Milgram's parents had gotten out of Europe uh, during the Holocaust, and I think he was very interested in the notion. Uh, they talked about the Adolf Eichmann trial happening around the time the experiments going on, and the idea of well, I was just following orders, and and so I think he was sort of trying to sort of test the capacity of how how far will we go from our own moral compass simply because someone in authority tells us to do it. Um, and while that sounds really dry, Almereda has a really cool way of uh, of presenting the film with a, a with occasional bursts of artificiality that are really great. Like uh, Peter Sarsgaard, who plays Milgram, and, and Winona Ryder is his wife, and there's a scene where they're driving somewhere, and it's so obviously mm. fake, like it's intended to look fake, where like the, the background behind them is like a still photograph or something. And then they get out of the car, and they're in vibrant color, but the background is still like black and white and yeah. very artificial. And it's clearly. another photograph. Yeah. Just yeah. things like that, and it, it sounds gimmicky, but it actually, I think, really kind of ties into the whole notion of perception mm -hmm. and stuff that the movie uh, brings about. At one point, there's a TV movie that's made about Milgram's experiment. So after we've seen the this movie's recreation of his lab, we then see the TV movie recreating the this movie's. You know, and it just I don't know. I, with I, young I, William Shatner. With young William Shatner, played by <laughs> Kellen Lutz, who's perfect. Uh, I like this movie a lot. I, I, I found it really kind of. It, it's almost a biopic of an idea more than it is of a person. And. Um, it's beautifully shot, really well acted. A lot of great actors pop in for a scene or two. Um, and, and I think just kind of leaves you with a lot of, you know, it's a good movie to, to go out for coffee afterwards and talk about. Yeah, because you think you're going to be the good person. I was telling Matt about this movie. You think you're going to be the good person who is not going to keep pressing the button, right? You're, mm. you're, like, you're going to see this is totally inhumane and cruel. How could anybody possibly do this to each other? And, the, yeah, just make you question who you are. Michael Almereda also did the um, 2000 version of Hamlet. Right. The very Ethan modern Ethan Hawke Hamlet. 
Um, with, uh, Nadia, with, the vampire movie. Yeah, so he, he does interesting stuff with, with material that you think you know. And uh, yeah, this could have been very dry mm. and very clinical. And yeah, the idea of a, a playfulness to something so gross <laughs> seems like a weird combination. But it does kind of lighten the... Um, the psychological heaviness that the, the film itself explores. So, yeah. I liked it. And yeah. the cool thing is that it is available streaming. So even if you are not in a city with, you know, an art house screen that is showing it, uh, you can get it on iTunes. Yes. Yeah, and speaking of compliance, Anne Dowd, who was in the movie we just talked Our about. Our Brain is Crisis. Our Brain is Crisis stars in compliance as the person who is like the theoretical button pusher. <laughs> and True. so it's sort of fascinating to explore, you know, like, what would you do? What would you do? I don't know. And, and, and even in doing the experiment, I think they thought that fewer people were going to go along with it. And they were surprised that the overwhelming majority was willing to do it, was like, willing like to press those buttons. Like one person maybe questions himself. Yeah, like it's a very small percentage. That's yeah. that's creepy. And the and the reactions are varied as far as how people handle themselves. And yeah. once they're told, yeah. Well, that's all I'm gonna say. Okay. okay so, yeah. um, uh, what's your number? Uh, I give it eight and a half. Uh, I found it really compelling, and and people should totally check it out. Eight for me. Yeah, this is a nice surprise. So um, our average is an eight point three. And it's at eighty eight percent on the tomato meter right now. Yeah, go find it. Go stream it. It's in a really terrible week. This is a good movie. Yeah. Bye.